<laughs> it definitely hasn't been changed, that's for sure. All right, so we have the Jeep in the garage. We don't have a name for it. My brother is over there. He's hiding, rocking around. <laughs> um, but we're hoping to get this thing on the road soon. We have a lot of cool stuff we want to do to it. But the first thing we need to do is we notice we have a pretty substantial oil leak. I think it's the oil pan. It might be the rear main seal. We're hoping it's the oil pan. But we, regardless, we have all the parts. We're just draining the oil and we can jump into it. It's like a, an S-shaped bar that's welded on, and then it's like attached to almost like a. Oh, that's just that's a the rubber garment. Grommet? Yeah, that's just the mount. Okay. That's what holds the exhaust on. <laughs> Let's see. Is this like uh, European? Is it like righty loosey lefty tidy? European. <laughs> All right. See if that broke it. Oh, it broke something. Oh yeah. I yeah, see. see where it goes together? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna pull it down so it's so it's got room and when you have room tell me. Okay. Room? You have room? Yeah. Okay. Where do you want to see it's comfortable? Alright. And what we're gonna do is as I hand you the bolts, poke a hole and put them in the respective area. Okay. So you're gonna make like it's gonna look like a square. Okay. But that's what we're gonna do, and that'll keep that'll make sure we keep it where it's supposed to go. Okay. Now let's get this sucker off. I guess then we can see the seal. See how bad it looks. Exactly. A screwdriver make a hole. And poke in there. See the orange thing right up in there? See that orange oh, piece? That's, that's where it's at? That's part of the seal, but to get that out, we gotta take this piece. I see, I see what you're saying. Which is the bearing cap. I see what you're Now, the, where, where that stops it from leaking is between the transmission and the engine. And I just don't think it's leaking in there. So that crack that's right in there, that would cause it. And there's a crack right, where is it? Right there. That would cause that would cause the leak we were having, but really the most severe leak was right here. And I mean, this this gasket is very old and you can see it's, there you can see that would do it. Here, look. See how it's deformed? Yeah. That deforming, that deforming right there would cause a pretty massive leak. Okay. So I'm going with, it's just the gasket. Okay, I'm gonna do that. A transmission leak. So everything's officially cleaned. We're ready to go. Now we got to put the RTV on the block. Let's do this. Right up in here. We put a dab along here. Now we do our alignment pins. This one here. As we're doing this at home. You don't need a whole lot of RTV. There's a little bit in that corner up there. And that corner. And then in the front of the motor, I'll try to get this, but it's very difficult to see on camera. And there's some right there. And that's it. That's all you need, really. And that's because uh, that's all the factory service manual calls for. You're just putting it where the case splits on the engine block. I've done quite a few Jeeps this way, and I've not had any of them leak thus far. That's really all you need to do it. So, let's get that bad boy in here. Okay, you, you can start coming up. That'll help me out. Okay. 
Okay, I am pretty close. So now you line yours up. And you should just be able to... Okay, got one. Okay. Got two. Okay, now push up. Just clip. They click. Are they holding it? It's gonna be loose, just are they holding it? All right, we run into a pretty major snag here. So we're putting this oil pan back up on this Jeep and these two, these four front bolts here, they all go into the timing cover, which is aluminum. And these two bolts here pulled the threads out of the hole. Now we used a torque wrench, didn't even make it to 12 pounds and it pulled it out. So I think the metal was just fatigued or I don't know what's going on, but pulled it out and uh, it's it's not gr so great. We have no threads in there for this to hold against. However, there are about four to five threads on the top of this hole and six threads on the top of this other hole here. So our thought is we're gonna take some JB Weld and we're gonna make a stud. We're gonna double nut this, put the stud in there with JB Weld, let it cure overnight, and then uh, come back and see if they hold. Okay, so we're gonna put two nuts on here. And when we do that, it's gonna make it act like we have a bolt. So then we'll be able to screw it in. All right. Let's mix some JV Weld up. It essentially made these a stud. But first, we need the uh, the steering stick. That's the official JB Weld JB steering, Weld stick. steering stick. Oh, that came out really fast. JB doesn't mess around. They know you. <laughs> <laughs> they know once you get to this stuff, you need it. <laughs> <laughs> once you've gone this far, you can't go anywhere. <laughs> they know you. This is so much more than we need. I know, but that's fine. You got both screws or just one? I just have to do it one at a time. Okay. Nice and slow. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna have to give me a pick or something in a paper towel. Because we're gonna have to clean all that up, otherwise, we're gonna JB weld the pan to it. Let's give this a little tightening. Yeah, I think so too. That seems pretty tight. Yep. Alright, I got those separated. What? Let's see. Oh, you got the nuts separated? Yeah. Let's see if this one will take some torque. No. Yeah. It torques down. 10W30. Yep. What? A little more. A little more. A little more. That's good. Will that heat break? Or put it in park? Keep it in neutral? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, well, that's actually pretty tight, huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> that's pretty easy. Yeah. There's no like waiting for it to go in. <laughs> nope. Oh, 
smoke. Yeah. Let's close the hood and back it out. Alright, all the way out. Yeah, it's gonna smoke until it burns everything off the exhaust. Let's see here. I spot zero leaks currently. That's perfect. So our stud fix worked, Nick. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. All right, so it runs, it's all back together, and currently it's not leaking, and we're pretty excited about that. Uh, our little stud fix seemed to actually work, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the reason that happened, I figured it out, there are two torque specs posted online. Anything that says 12 foot pounds is completely wrong. The factory service manual is seven foot pounds. That's why we tore the threads out of the front. Um, the front timing cover where the oil pan bolts up. The rest of the block is steel, so you're probably not gonna do that, but that spot in particular, it is pretty common for, uh, for that to happen. So, but now the Jeep is that much closer to being ready. Next, we dig into the body. Stay tuned for that one, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. We weren't supposed to do that. Why? I'm just kidding. <laughs> if I was an engineer, I'd make everything the same bolt too. <laughs> okay, this is definitely the approved uh, cleaning method.